Afghanistan, the future and current Afghanistan, without a democratic process, would then become very difficult to be uh, the compared to what used to be in the past. So it needs to go forward. Secondly, we have been involved in the political reconciliation by supporting through a group we call Salam Support Group. In other words, a group of specialists who assist those who are trying to negotiate among the Afghans for the future political solution of this conflict. And three, we have been involved in preparing all what could be a um, possible constitutional level type of discussions that would be taking place in the future. In other words, when there is a paper to be prepared for a facilitated reconciliation, we do so. We are also working on the regional level. Mm -hmm. In other words, talking to the different political leaders of the region in order to be able to see what could be the common interest each of them have in the stability of Afghanistan. Mm -hmm. On the development side, well, that's what the UN does everywhere, and particularly in Afghanistan. Vaccination, 5 million children being 4.8 vaccinated through the assistance of WHO and UNICEF, two UN organizations, as you know. And, you know, if you had the crisis that we have in Afghanistan, and on top of it, a, a, a epidemic of polio, God forbid, or any other type of disease, it would be even worse. So it's very important. WFP, World Food Program, is actually feeding 8 million Afghans every day because they are in the poverty line. Mm -hmm. And more than, I would say, 4.6 million of which 40% nowadays, women, girls, are going to school thanks to the assistance also, and particularly of the UN. So, in the development side, we are quite active. We are not being on the radar screen if you have the CNN effects of the security, but it's there. And then you've got human rights, which is intangible, but probably even more important. If the UN will be leaving a mark, it is on the human rights, which means women rights in particular. We've been fighting and arguing and fighting for the 16, 8 women to be part of the parliament. We've been doing capacity building and uh, on top of it, we are producing reports which are not boring reports, trust me. These are reports which produce action on civilian casualties, on the violence on women, on the violence of juveniles. All that uh, is uh, meaning we have almost 1,000 people, 6,000 Afghans, who have been there for uh, many of them for the last 60 years, not all of them, <laughs> otherwise they would be too old, but uh, been in the, with the UN presence in Afghanistan. In Afghanistan, especially these days, you don't talk about successes, you talk about progress. And the biggest progress we have had was certainly the electoral issue, because if we were not assisting the two electoral commissions, the elections would have not taken place and we would not have a parliament. And that, you know, democracy is a sign that something is working in the right direction for the future also, especially when you compare to the Taliban period. The other, uh, the progress has been on human rights. We have seen the impact of our own advocacy in that field. And three, I think that uh, it is recognized that this, the group that we have put at the disposal of the reconciliation team, the Afghan reconciliation team, is actually being considered very helpful. And last, don't forget, everybody uh, um, is not part of NATO, no, and not everybody is part of EU, but all the countries in the neighborhood are all members of the UN, from Iran to Turkey to Russia to China to Pakistan. And we are actively involved in supporting that. Um, and I think we have contributed, and that's maybe a success, in making them more and more engaged uh, in a constructive way in Afghanistan. Challenges, um, the first challenge uh, is to be alive. Eh? And the second challenge is to be alive, because security is a crucial concern. That's why myself and all my colleagues are volunteers in Afghanistan. And that means that the UN uh, takes risks in order to be there, but it's worth it, we believe. We lost five colleagues and 23 wounded, and we were attacked also recently with four suicide bombers. That's why I, I cannot deny that that is an important challenge. But we are there for a mission, and we believe that that mission is uh, a useful one.